What's up guys, Kid Player coming back with a brand new NASCAR E3 video guys and today we were getting confirmation that it wasn't 50 new free paint schemes that came into NASCAR E3, it was 100 free paint schemes that came into NASCAR E3 for the December free, I guess you could say DLC, but it was pretty much patch notes, I believe patch notes 3. So I know I did cover the cup cars already for the free paint schemes, but I believe I didn't cover it that very well. I believe I didn't really get into detail about it, and we just avoided the Xfinity series and the truck series completely with their new paint schemes. So we're going to make a video about the 100 new free paint schemes coming into NASCAR 3 which is actually already out already, and I'm going to tell you which new free paint schemes are for every single series from the cup series the truck series and the xfinity series so i don't have to just guess oh maybe this is new this is not new like the other video i made but as usual before we get into the video guys shout out to my donators reverend rashim store inside uranus jimmy 04 racing and motorsports games links to their channels will be in the description below and without further ado guys let's get started so I'm going to read this off the site real quick. This week we released our third major update for NASCAR Heat 3 on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. This update will be released for PC on 1218. In addition to a few fixes, we also added over 100 new paint schemes for free. Also, I didn't explain the other stuff already because I've already explained it in different videos. So let's start off with Hendrick Motorsports paint schemes. We have Chase Elliott's Sun Energy 1 car. This is one he drove, I believe, in the All-Star Race. William Byron's Exalta car, Jimmy Johnson's Lowe's Power of Pride car, and Alex Bowman's Valvoline car. And then we have Monster Energy Playoff cars. This is from Richards. We have Kevin Harvick's Jimmy John's car, Eric Amarola's Get Grilling America Smithfield car, and Martin Truex Jr.'s Auto Owners Insurance car. So now we go to the Monster Energy Playoffs for the Charlotte Roval, and we have Martin Truex Jr.'s Auto Owners Insurance car, Monster Energy Playoffs for Dover, Brad Kanzowski's Worth car, Chase Elliott's Napo Auto Parts car, Eric Amarola's Smithfield car, Ryan Blaney's PPG Paints car, Clint Boyer's Haas VF1 car, Kurt Busch's, no sorry, Kyle Busch's Interstate Batteries car, Jordan Logano's Shell Pennzoil car, Kurt Busch's Monster Haas car, Kyle Larson's Credit One Bank car, Martin Truex Jr.'s 5-hour Bass Pro car, and Alex Bowman's Exalta car. Then we have the Monster Energy Playoffs car for Talladega. We got Brad Kinsalski's Brad K car, Kevin Harvick's Jimmy John's car, Chase Elliott's Napa Night Vision Lamps car, Eric Amarola's Smithfield Baking car, Ryan Blaney's Rev Group car, Clint Boyer's Rush Truck Center's car, Kyle Busch's M&M's car, Martin Truex Jr.'s Bass Pro 5-hour car, and Alex Bowman's Nationwide car. So now let's go to the Monster Energy Playoffs for the Kansas. We got Brad Kinslowski's Discount Tire car, Chase Elliott's Mountain Dew car, Ryan Blaney's Menard's Wrangler car, Clint Boyer's, I don't know what that word is, car, and Kyle, I mean, Kyle Busch's M&M's Halloween car, Kurt Busch's Haas Mobile One car, and Kyle Larson's McDonald's Trick Treat Win car. Next, for the Monster Energy Playoffs for Martinsville, we have Chase Elliott's Sun Energy 1 car, Eric Amarola's Smithfield car, Clint Boyer's Rush Truck Center's car, Kyle Busch's M&M's Halloween car, Joy Logano's Shell Pennzoil car, Kurt Busch's Haas Monster car, and Martin Truex Jr.'s 5-Hour Energy Bass Pro car. Then we move on to Texas, where we'll get Kevin Harvick's Mobile 1 car, Chase Elliott's Kelly Blue Book car, Eric Amarola's Smithfield car, Clint Boyer's Rush Trucks car, Kyle Busch's M&M's car, Joey Logano's AAA Insurance car, Kurt Busch's State Water Heaters car, and Martin Truex Jr.'s Bass Pro 5-Hour Energy car. Then for Monster Energy Playoffs for ISM, we have Chase Elliott's Napa Auto Parts car, Clint Boyer's It's Savvy car, and Martin Truex Jr.'s Auto Owners Insurance car. Now for the Xfinity Series for Richmond. We'll get Tyler Reddick's Nationwide Children's Hospital car, Austin Cedric's Money Lion car. Next for the Xfinity Series for Charlotte, we got Cole Custer's Haas Automation car, Ross Chastain's Florida Watermelon car, Justin Allgaier's Vanamy Construction car, I probably said that wrong, Tyler Reddick's Burger Fi car, then we go to Dover and we got Brandon Jones Menard's car, and Austin Cedric's Discount Tire car. 
Then we head over to Kansas. Then we head over to Kansas for the Xfinity Series. We got Cole Custer's Haas Automation Car, Elliot Sadler's Arctic Cat Car, Justin Allgaier's Brandit Car, just uh, Tyler Reddick's Burger Fi Car, Christopher Bell's Ream Car, Daniel Hemrick's South Point Casino Car, Austin Sindrick's Men uh, Richmond Menards Car. Then we head over to the Xfinity Series Playoffs for Texas. We got Cole Custer's Auto Desk Car, Elliot Sadler's One Main Financial Car, Matt Tiss Anderson's Maple Syrup Car, Justin Allgaier's Suave Men's Car, Austin Sindrick's Discount Tire Car, and then we head over to the Xfinity Series for ISM. We have Elliot Sadler's Hump Brothers Pizza Car. Then we go to the Truck Series for Las Vegas. We got Johnny Sauter's ISM Connect Car, Ben Rhodes' Carolina Nut Co., and then we go to Talladega. We got Johnny Sauter's ISM Connect Pink Car and Matt Crafton's Fisher Nuts Menards Car. So then we go to the Cameron Road Truck Series at Martinsville, and we got Brett Moffitt's Group Car, Noah Gregson's Safe Life Auto, Grass, uh, Auto Glass Car, Johnny Sauter's ISM Connect Pink Car, Justin Haley's FOE car, Matt Crafton's Menards, I think that's Cheech's car also. And then we go to Texas, we got just uh, Johnny Sauter's ISM Connect car, and Matt Crafton's Ideal Door Menards car. Then for the Monster Energy Cup Series at Homestead, we got Kevin Harvick's Jimmy John's car, Kyle Busch's M&M's car, Joey Logano's Shell Pennzoil car, Martin Truex Jr.'s Vast Pro 5-hour carbon car, then for the Xfinity Series, we got Cole Custer's Haas Automations car and Daniel Hemrick's South Point Hotel and Casino car. And then for the Camping World Truck Series, we have Brett Moffitt's Group car, Noah Gregson's Safe Life Auto Glass car, Johnny Sauter's ISM Connect car, and Justin Haley's FOE car. So this is the 21 years of age, a.k.a. pretty much the, where they have the beer on the side or the Twisted Tea on the side of the car. It's pretty much the same things that we have. They just have like light on the side of the car or Miller Lite or Twisted Tea on the side and like the corner. Pretty much the same type of cars that we've already had. So I'm just going to give you guys a rundown of what I believe about this free, I guess you could say DLC, but just the patch notes. I like that they're still doing this. This might be the last one for Heat 3 in my opinion unless they do add some more in January. But I believe the 2019 DLC will be in January. So I do like that they're adding this. I believe it's really cool. And hopefully test cars now come in the December DLC for NASCAR Heat 3. But with that being said, that will be the end of the video, guys. Thank you guys all for watching. If you guys are new, smack that sub button. Thank you guys all for so for letting me reach 6,000 subscribers. So if you guys are new, smack that sub button. Comment down below your opinions about this DLC or patch notes. And subscribe for more NASCAR Heat 3 news videos, NASCAR Heat 3 videos, NASCAR Heat 3 live streams, Project Cars 2 live streams, and future NASCAR Heat 4 videos. Hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you guys later. IDK out. I gave you everything, held you close by the stormy seas, oh you